Dear partners of the European Cooperation Project Sounds Now and of INM's Field Notes. Dear speakers and panelists, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the symposium. My name is Janine Merafel. I am the president of the Academy of the Arts. I welcome you to the symposium Curating Diversity, Decolonizing Contemporary Music, and I also extend a warm welcome to all of you, the participants here in the plenary, plenary hall of the Academy der Künste in Berlin, as well as the listeners turning on online as active Zoom participants or observers of the live streams. Are they there? Yeah? Okay. I am happy to open this shared future-oriented thinking space. Beginning in mid-March, the corona pandemic forced the Academy der Künste, as it did to so many other cultural institutions, to cancel our event programs, close our doors to the public, and send our employees to work from their home office. From then on, our programs were accessible only in digital form, which as a matter of fact was not such a bad thing on the contrary, cultural events with an audience, however, all but came to a standstill, just as the pandemic essentially shut down the rest of Berlin, the entire Germany, all of Europe, and large parts of the world. Beginning in September, our physical locations opened their doors again to the public, of course, with appropriate hygiene measures taken. When it comes to international projects with international participants, like this one, however, we are still forced to postpone events or to come up with new format using the possibilities of technology and digital networking. Today's hybrid, hybrid or hybrid? Hybrid. Hmm? Hybrid, okay. Hybrid symposium format thus offers an opportunity to do what we missed most during this period due to the restrictions on travel, to provide an exchange at international and European level, engage in face-to-face -face encounters with other ways of thinking and diverse forms of art, from Bolivia to Thailand, from Ireland to Greece. And perhaps with an even more international and diverse character that would otherwise have been possible or appropriate considering climate and sustainability aspects. Incidentally, the Fridays for Future movement will be demonstrating for the first time again today, all over the world and in Berlin as well, so you might even hear the demonstration from the Brandenburg Gate during the course of the day. We have to keep reminding each other that even during Corona, we must not lose sight of key issues facing the world and society, such as the climate crisis, justice, diversity, artistic freedom, or democratic values, which also here in Europe are currently under attack and must be defended. Today you are invited to share your thoughts on what contemporary music is nowadays, how we should deal with and engage in an international dialogue on the colonial legacy and ethnomusical archives. And who knows, perhaps these digital formats will prove to be at the vanguard of an intensified and long overdue exchange between cultural communities around the world. The Akademie der Künste is happy to host this symposium as a cooperation partner to the, of the Ultima Oslo Contemporary Music Festival and the Initiative Neue Musik Berlin Field Notes within the framework of the four-year European cooperation project Sounds Now, co-funded by Creative Europe. So many titles, it's nearly be a little bit confusing. But these are the people that are cooperating to make all of these exchanges possible. Nine European partners have come together in Sounds Now with the aim of promoting greater diversity in contemporary music. 
by exploring new pathways that overcome the separation between serious and popular music and or to allow other epistemo epistemologies in music than the very exclusive new music in Europe and North America. We are pleased that this, symposium, this important symposium as part of Sounds Now is being opened here today, and I wish you all useful and interesting discussions. I now give the floor to Torbjörn Tonda Hansen, Artistic Director of the Ultima Oslo Contemporary Music Festival and representative of Sounds Now, who is joining us via Zoom from Oslo. Hello. Is the uh, sound all right there in Berlin? Um, I am Tobi Anton Hansen, the artistic director of the Ultima Festival here in uh, Oslo. And uh, thank you very much, Sianine uh, Meapel, for this uh, wonderful opening speech of this uh, hybrid uh, symposium format uh, curating diversity. I'm very sorry not to be with you in Berlin today, but due to the travel restrictions, it uh, proved impossible to make it uh, without quarantine, which would go into other uh, things that we are doing in Oslo now after the festival. I would uh, like to thank uh, our Berlin partners uh, immensely for all the work that you have been doing, putting this hybrid format together with uh, Julia Gallach, the secretary of the uh, Academy of the Arts in Berlin, and. Uh, Lisa Benjes, the director of the Initiative in Musik Berlin, and uh, Louise Langenhahn also working with us uh, from the Academy of the Arts. It's uh, my first time uh, taking part in uh, organizing such a hybrid format, and uh, it's been very, very exciting and also very strange not to be physically uh, present. So today is also the first time that we are trying out this format that we hope can, can work in these times where we cannot physically be together and it's a kind of experiment which I think in a way follows the good uh, German dictum that uh, form folk function that uh, we're trying with this format to reach as many people as possible in these times and the theme that we're going to discuss is also exactly about enhancing uh, diversity and inclusion. So I'm really looking forward to great discussions uh, during the day and uh, as the co-organizing partner of our sounds now uh, network that Janine Mirafu also wonderfully introduced. Uh, I'm very happy that our lead uh, partner, uh, Musica, is represented today in Berlin physically through uh, the director, uh, Esther Wilson. So thank you very much, Esther, for taking the trip from uh, Belgium to Berlin today. Musica is uh, leading our Sounds Now project, which is a four-year project focusing on uh, inclusion and on enhancing uh, Okay, there might be some sound trouble. Is it all right now? All right, I'll try again. So sounds now over four years uh, is focusing on promoting inclusion in contemporary music and sound art. We are doing it through various activities. This symposium is one activity. We're going to host more symposiums over the years. We have curating diversity courses and curating labs, inviting people not uh, hitherto represented in the curating aspects of the festival and music life uh, to work on this. And also we're doing productions and open uh, spaces. It's co-funded by the Creative Europe program of the uh, European Union. And we are nine partners. And I'm extremely excited that we can start uh, this activity today with the first symposia. And uh, I wish you all a very good day and great discussions. And um, now I'd like to hand over the word to uh, 
Julia Gerlach, uh, the secretary of the music section of the Academy of the Arts in Berlin. Welcome also from my side, and thank you, Janine Meerapfel and Tobi and Tonda Hansen, uh, for your introductory words. My name is Julia Gerlach. I'm responsible for the concept and organization along Torbjörn and Tonda Hansen, Lisa Benjes, and Louise Langhahn from the part of the Academy of Arts. And I will give you now, at the end of uh, the introduction words, a brief overview of the day. And also, I will explain a little bit how to handle the online and the on site uh, situation. As has been said, we are realizing for the first time a hybrid uh, symposium and thus are facing a parallel scenario here on site at the Academy and online in a Zoom webinar and in a live stream. Both the audience and the panel participants online and on site form together for this symposium a common space of discourse and we hope that we can create through this format the desirable internationality and diversity in the panels and audience. Online listeners can follow the day as a high quality live stream on the YouTube channel or they can actively participate in the Zoom webinar. The remotely connected international panelists and moderators as Torbjörn are part of the Zoom webinar and will be shown here on site on the big screen. My colleague Lisa Benjes, head of the ENM's uh, field notes, is handling the webinar at Zoom throughout the whole day and will answer questions as they arise on this platform. She will guide you in uh, the Zoom through the whole day and uh, um, yeah, you can always contact her. Most of you will be familiar with the program, which is accessible at all times in the YouTube comment and on the Sounds Now website. But let me uh, just uh, uh, recapitulate uh, some of the, uh, of the uh, formats. We will hear keynotes from Duyun and Zaneb Bakwati, and we will hear three panels. And uh, at 2.15, we will have a lunch break of 45 minutes. During this time, the live stream and the Zoom webinar will continue, but there is no program. At 8 p.m. after the last panel, the live stream will stop and we will end the day here in the Academy with a performance by improviser Hui Chun Lin and informal talks. I would like to draw your attention to two special moments today. During the three coffee breaks of each 15 minutes, we will stream online and on the screen in the, music ho uh, on the, screen in the hall music videos which have been compiled by the researcher and an electronic musician Cedric, especially for the symposium connected to today's topic, with a very diverse musical spectrum. In the late afternoon, we invite you all for a social moment, uh, some dialogue and movement, uh, which we call the networking walk. The Berlin audience we will invite for a walk in the nearby Tiergarten if the demonstrations allow the uh, passing through the Brandenburger Tour. And uh, the Zoom participants we will invite to a virtual walk where uh, people can meet in, uh, in groups of two people and uh, exchange their thoughts. If you have any questions or comments, if you are lost in digital space or if you want to participate in the Q&A moments, please contact the host uh, Lisa Benjes and her team in the Zoom webinar or Anne Apaturai from Sounds Now on the YouTube channel, who will answer or forward your questions uh, to the moderators on or here on site. Please call attention to our team. Microphones are available. We want to make this whole day as participatory as possible within the restrictions of uh, uh, the uh, format. So please uh, uh, do not hesitate to contact us. In order to synchronize the two worlds online and on site, please excuse that we will have to stay within the time frame. And in this case, um, keep your ideas for the next occasion or the open panel at the end of the day when one, uh, panel, one of the uh, panels is over. And this is also the reason why I today read from a script to stay in time, and uh, I hope that I also stayed in time now. 
Finally, one more request. Please stick to the hygiene measures. Keep distance from each other and wear your mask when you move. It is nice that you are all here in such a big uh, group. I, I see over 50 people in the hall and I'm very happy about this. And it's great to talk to you again via Zoom and here on site. I now hand back to Torbjörn Tonda Hansen in Oslo to introduce the keynote speaker, Du Yun. Thank you very much.